Hello my friends, this is Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel and yes, this is indeed Skyrim. I wish to welcome you to a brand new series on the channel. This is going to be my Skyrim Let's Play series. Now if you guys know me from my State of Decay and State of Decay Breakdown series, you know that once I've got a few whiskies in my belly, a couple of beers and a hell of a lot of caffeine, then shit goes down. <laughs> what better time, what better game to play than Skyrim for drunken caffeine fueled shit because quite frankly this game lets you do whatever the hell you like so my friends i would like i would like to introduce you to our good friend kitty von bastard he is going to be our main character in this series i am level 1 right now I haven't set any skills, I haven't leveled up anything at all. This game is going to be fresh, this series is going to be fresh right out of Helgen's Keep because there's no point in me showing you guys the introduction. This game is nearly three years old so the introduction is way old. There's no point in me playing the introduction but folks this series is going to be me playing and having a hell of a lot of fun and I hope that you guys find it entertaining and I suppose you can learn a few things as well but what is that to learn in Skyrim? You just go around killing shit as an evil cat and all is going to be grand. So let's get this show on the road my friends. We are starting the adventures of Kitty Von Bastard right now. We've just left Helgen's Keep and the one mission that we have other than the Stormcloak mission is to talk to Gerda in Riverwood. Roloff suggested that I head to the nearby town of Riverwood. His sister owns a lumber mill there and she should be able to help me. So that is what we are going to do. Uh, in my inventory right now from the, obviously, the opening farming mission, I've got a hell of a lot of Imperial armor to sell at the general store in Riverwood. I've also got an Iron Arrow that I will favorite, a longbow that I will favorite because I like archery in this game and I will also favorite my Imperial sword for future reference as well. Uh, other good things to favourite by pressing the Y button are potions of minor healing and potions of minor stamina, potions of magicka. Although, I haven't really used magic much in Skyrim. So we are now going to head all the way to Riverwood. Where I will try my best to not kill chickens, but honestly guys, I can't promise anything. It comes to something when you can sneak attack a merchant and not get a bounty on your head. But if you bitch whip a chicken with an arrow or a cabbage, then shit is gonna go down. You do not attack chickens in this game unless you want to die or go to jail. Brutal, I know, but well, that's just how things go. So I periodically alternate between first person and third person, but the main thing I love about Skyrim is the fact that it just gives you complete freedom. How am I going to play this character? How am I going to play this playthrough? Well, I haven't really decided. I'm literally just going to do whatever the hell I fucking want. And that usually works well for me when it comes to you guys enjoying my videos and my uh, series on the channel. So this is something new for me. I haven't played a RPG series on the channel yet. We've just discovered Ember Shard Mine. Oh god fuck, what is that? That is an enemy. It's a bandit. Can he see me? He can definitely see me. God damn it, son of a bitch. I will shoot you in the head with an arrow. Fuck yeah, take that you prick. Right, he's got my arrow sticking out of his belly. So we're gonna rob his fur armor and we'll leave his iron thingy axe. I can't get my arrow back either. So we've got a mine here. Now I could go ahead and uh, see what's in this mine before we head to Riverwood, Ember Shard Mine. But instead I'm gonna carry on to Riverwood and uh, then we will head back to this mine later. I just heard a wolf, did you guys hear a wolf? Yep, I definitely heard a wolf. Eat my arrow. Damn it puppy. Dogs, really? Oh god, there's another one! He's got friends! He's found his friends! Why am I holding my arrow? I can't shoot! Why can't I shoot? Allow me to shoot! So we've encountered a glitch already, that's never good. But it's easy fixed. That one ate a rabbit, and now we're gonna shoot this prick in the head as well. Yeah! Death to all puppies! I'm not a fan of puppies, says Kitty Von Bastard, who is indeed very evil. You can tell when a cat or a man is evil because he has hairy ears. And our cat certainly has very hairy ears. So I usually just do whatever the hell I like in this game, folks. And that's what you're going to see in this series. I have started out as a cat because, well, my channel is the Let's Play Cat Gaming channel. It makes sense that I start out as a Khajiit, the cat characters of the series. When it comes to my heavy armor and light armor preferences, 
I don't really have one. I just wear whatever looks cool. Same as weapons, and as long as we remain skillful and stealthy as much as possible, then we shouldn't have much problem uh, when it comes to the general survival of things. So we've just arrived in Riverwood. And there's that chicken that always causes me grief. So first things first, before we go and talk to uh, Raloff's parents or uncle or whatever, we need to go and sell some shit. So we've got a stacked and loaded inventory right now. So we're going to open the Riverwood Trader and head in after the loading screen goes away. Then we will sell our things. There's also a mission here, I believe. Well, one of us has to do something. I said yes. No. So Camilla and no Lucen no are... Theatrics. No thief chasing. Arguing. Yeah, well, I don't know what you over. So let's ask him if something happened. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. So the robbers were only an after ornament. one thing an ornament, solid, solid gold, gold in the shape, shape of a, a dragon's, dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back, good sir, as long as you allow me to sample your milk and give me a shit ton of cash. You could? Got some coin coming in from my last. What about the milk? It's yours if you bring my claw back. Mm, then I'll have to think about this. Right, so we started the golden claw. The golden claw revolves around us getting the golden claw from Bleak Falls Barrow. Obviously, that's not why we came here. Do you sell spells? I have a few old spell books laying about. Go to the College of Winterhold. more, you'll have to go to the College of Winter. Let's see what spells he has. He's got a few tomes here, but I'm not really interested in these. What I am interested in is whether he has lockpicks or not. Does he? He's got 17 lockpicks. I will buy... Well, I'll... in fact, let me just sell where I've got first. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Iron War Axe. I don't ever use axes. Uh, fur armor, we'll get rid of. Get rid of that. We'll get rid of one of those. Got plenty of light armor. I spent quite a bit of time farming that. Uh, the helmet... We'll get rid of the... Actually, we'll keep the helmet just in case uh, time calls for it. Novice hood. I will keep the hood because it looks cool. The novice robes can go. Storm cloak can go. And the studded imperial armor can go as well. So we've already got a cheeky stockpile of money building up just from farming these areas. We'll get rid of the frostbite venom. Food. We've got some wines. We'll get rid of the wines. Keep the... Oh, we've got an amethyst. We'll get rid of that. I will keep the ingredients because I like to level up my alchemy from time to time. I'll buy 17 lockpicks, all of his lockpicks. And that is all for now. I don't think he's really got anything else that I can make use of unless he's got any arrows or... A shield would be a good idea because I'm only using uh, one-handed weapons at the moment just because I haven't found any two-handed weapons. I usually use the great sword more than anything in this game. And he doesn't have any for sale. He's only got three iron arrows. Uh, three. We'll just buy those. Now I've got 424 gold. So I've got to visit the College yes. of Winterhold. I definitely need to join the Thieves Guild early on because I have a tendency to steal a lot of things in this game. And that is not something that you want to do if you Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. have a bath. Stealing things isn't something that you want to do because it fills up your inventory, uh, your weight, very, very quickly. That's not really good when you have nowhere to deposit it. And doing the Thieves Guild branch of quests is really good for, obviously, getting rid of uh, your inventory and making a lot of money as well. Can't argue with that. So we are gonna go and speak to this bastard over here. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayloff. I won't let those soldiers- Uncle Rayloff. Hello, Gerda. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Yep, yeah, right. speak to me about the We're quest. Small village, but we work hard and take Do you have any supplies I could of take, Gerda? Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Thank you very much. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? I'm here to... Ooh, so I can eat all of these. I'm here to eat all of your bread and destroy your carrots. I like cheese. I'll have the garnet. Hunting broom mead, I'll sell this. I will... Sell your goat, I will eat your lockpick, and I will take all of these. In fact, just give me everything, you stupid bitch. Including the clothes that you're wearing. A dragon attacked Helgen, Gerda, and destroyed it. Raloff and I escaped together. Dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. It is so. I saw it with my own two ears. It would explain my hairy what I saw ears. earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. 
I thought I must have just been seeing things. No, it was a dragon. Roloff will tell you the same thing, Gerda. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. No, nope, that's just, just the way I look. Bad to worse. I'm First a cat. The war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? War and dragons the is what the world's coming to. Know if there's a dragon on the loose, Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. You already are in my debt because you've only given me a few things. Well, Bitch. Right, so we have to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. That is our main goal. But another main goal is to generally survive and do things that are going to be brilliant. So we want to mark on the map, if I can remember how to load up the map, World map. I know, I'm aware of this. We want to mark on the map Riften. Because Riften is the place where the Thieves Guild chain of quests begins. Now, where the hell am I? I am at Helgen. And Helgen is... No, I'm not. I'm at Riverwood now. <clears throat> so the quickest way to get to Riften is going to be to head to Whiterun. And then use the carriage service there to head down into Riften. But first, let's go and get wrecked. In the Riverwood Trader. So I'm very close to being level two. I'm going to talk to Lucan. Lucian, Trinkets, wherever his name is. That's no, I don't want to buy anything, Sunshine, unless you've got any more lockpicks, which you haven't on such short notice. So you are useless to me, but I will sell you this garnet if you dare to buy it. It's a cursed garnet. You can have my carrots and all these things as well. Extra pennies for me, my friends. Extra pennies for me. Uh, silver ring will get rid of that as well. Uh, all is good. Right, that's that's enough for that. I will head time. now out. And we are going to get a run on now to uh, White Room and we'll use the carriage service. Again, I'm not going to start stealing things just yet due to the fact that my inventory will get pretty full pretty quick. So if you have any ideas for a uh, series for my channel, then let me know, folks. Uh, Skyrim for me, much like State of Decay Breakdown, is going to be a labour of love. I have a lot of fun recording and chatting shit when I play games that I love, and I hope that shows in this particular series. Again, it will obviously get better and more fun as we go along, because, well, Skyrim is one of those games that it's rather slow to get into, but once you're into it, you can't get out of it. If you know what I mean. And if you played Skyrim, then you do know what I mean. I'm going the wrong way. That doesn't help, does it? So. Uh, if we just turn around now and then actually go in the right direction. That will be great. That will be great. In fact, I think I've actually got to go back through Riverwood. In order to get to the location. It's so easy to get lost in Skyrim when the world is just so vast. So very vast. So look at our hairy ears. Kitty Von Bastard is an evil twat, and I intend to be very evil when we actually have the means to do so. Cats hate water. At least my cat hates water. Don't know about your cats. If you even own a cat, if you're watching and you own a cat, well, congratulations. Cats are nice, sometimes. I'm going to harvest the shit out of that tree. Now, I believe we're headed on the right route now. That would be a pleasant thing to do. I would like to get to. I would like to get to White Run as quickly as possible, just so we can get to Riften. Oh God! Fuck! Is that a wolf? Yeah, it's definitely a wolf, sir. <laughs> Fuck you! Turn around, Kitty Von Bastard. I, I. How did that miss? Come here, son. He's run off. He's ran off. The wolf's like shit. Is that a cat? I'm shitting my pants. Come on, you arsehole! I know you're here. Where's he gone? He's actually done a runner. Oh, no, there he is. I missed again. There we go. Take that, you canine tosser. I will search you. Where have you got nice? Just a pelt. I don't need that. Now let's head back on the road. On the road again. Is that white run in the distance? I believe it is. That is indeed white run in the distance. Why am I climbing this mountain? This can only end in disaster. Or can it? Apparently not, no. Oh god. There's a deer. 
He hasn't saw me yet, even though he's staring right at me. No, he's gone. He has get better. Oh god, I didn't kill him. Isn't that a stag anyway, Norrin dear? He's got antlers for fuck's sake. Urgh! I need more arrows. Move! Did I get him? Did I get him? Did I get him? No, he's run off. Fuck him. Stupid bastard. How dare he not take my arrow like a man, dear. Like a man, dear. Like Amanda! The Amanda Show. The Amandia Show. Enough of this madness. Now we've got a gaff down here, and I can't wait to start stealing shit. Because quite frankly, I love stealing shit. <laughs> oh god, he sounded like a goat. There's White Run in the distance. Let's see what this place is. Honing Brew Meadery. I love, more importantly, I love robbing that place. Because that stuff in there respawns like a bitch. Which means you can make so What the hell is that? What is that? Is that a freaking giant? Is that a giant? That is a giant! What is a giant doing in a cabbage field? Who are you, Rhea and Farkas? That is a giant and he's got nothing. Well, better give him a proper well, burial. That's oh. taken care of. No thanks to you. What? I've just seen it. He didn't look like I'll try my best. Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. I'm not crying. Glory only. And I like whiskey and beer, you bitch. Child. And I've got a coffee right now, so I'll fuck you. Our glory must always be hard fought. I want to be a companion. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? No, An that's what I'm asking. Warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. I have coin. Not Can I join you, people? You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Thank you very much. I will join your order. But first I will see what you've got in your half pocket. A torch, a white run gate key, and a Skyforge steel dagger. And I have no chance to steal any of it. How about your friends? Where have your friends got? I can't even get my sneak on yet. I really need to level you up sneak strong. really quickly. Gate key. Fight with us and you oh god, no. She saw me right as she turned around. Right, you bitch. I'm going to go to Whiterun. Then I'm going to go to Riften. And as soon as I'm in Riften, I'm going to join the Thieves Guild. Once I join the Thieves Guild, then I can start looting. And I'll also show you guys a brilliant way to level up your sneak and stealth skills. Just from a simple, simple trick once you join the Thieves Guild. One of the early missions uh, for the Thieves Guild. So I've got the White Run Stables activated now. I'm not going to bother buying that uh, stealing that horse just yet. We've got this carriage man here who's going to take us to Rift. ride? Where do you want to go? I'd like to hire your carriage, Bjorlum. To Riften, well, sir. And we'll be off. Thank you. Where have you got in your pockets? Fuck all. I'm going to use this carriage. We're going to head to Riften and join the Thieves' sure Guild. Visit the Black Briar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all. A few mugs of Black Briar Mead and we will forget all about our bumpy trip. Although I would like to remember some of the trip. Plus, why is he telling me that now when I'm not going to be on another trip on the carriage for quite some time? I'm still level 1. How the hell am I still level 1? Well, mainly because I haven't done much yet. But those levels will soon shoot up. I'm not complaining about being a low level because I can uh, do a little bit of uh, the whole buying skill grinding. I've just discovered the Rift and Stables. You are cute. I really, really want to steal... He doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. I really, really want to steal that. But Hold what we're going to do? What Before the fuck I let do you, you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. I call bullshit on that. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Nope. I'm not paying you anything. Alright, keep your voice down. Hey, Won't speech level. To hear you? This is obviously a shakedown. And I've just got to level 2 as well. Level 2. Uh, I'm going to immediately spend uh, on health. Because health is a good way to grind a few uh, heavy and light armor levels. I'm not going to spend the actual skill point yet. Because I've still got a few things to do in terms of the build that I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm not going to go for any specific build. I'm just going to level up the skills that I find myself using. 
more often than other skills. And the only way I can do that is by getting into this character and getting into this uh, specific playthrough of the game. I have a tendency to do different style playthroughs every time I start a new Skyrim game, just because it's so versatile in what you can and can't do. I had in fact, what you can't do. With a thief's guild. Be careful, Mio. The thieves' guild has made. Oh, I want to join the thieves' guild. Tell me about Riften's thieves' guild. Ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? Hmm. They're indeed. the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by a strict set of rules and tradition. These thieves are just rebels. I also want to join the Black Briar Meadery. Nope. <laughs> what do I want to do? Actually, I'm hoping to join you them. You disappoint me. I expected someone from outside Riften to be different. I also want to join the Dark Brotherhood. Is what I meant. But reach holds little regard for boundaries. Although, Enjoy the city. that mead would be good. Well. Thank you, Mjol the Lioness. Where have you got in I your pockets? I have no chance to steal anything at all yet. Damn it. Who are you? you? You and Riften looking for trouble? I'll fuck you up, Sunshine. Don't say something you'll regret. I'll say many things, Last and thing I will kill you. Is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Who are the Black the Briars, Briars, sir? The Briars in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Fine, but I will hey, join the Thieves I'm Guild, all. then I'll kill I'll watch you the more. streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. I have coin. Here, what can you tell me? Then you're stupider than you look. Oh, damn it. You better watch your ass around here. Hey, you I don't really like watching stay my ass. Out of the Black Bri I'm Fuck you, Maul. Right, we want to join the Thieves' Guild now. Now, the only way we can do that is by activating the quest. Now, I think we have to wait around here for Brynjolf or something. Ooh, what we got around here? Who are you, Branche? Branche is the guy that we have to uh, plant or something to actually join the guild. But let's see what we've got in this chest here. Oh, we haven't got a key to open that one. How about this one? We've got high braces, high boots, a sliding door expert. Let's give it a go. 33 lockpicks. Nag. So let's try the other side now. 31. There we go. So we've Bit of progress, so it's more to the left, this lock. Very, very close. Hopefully this time. Nope, a little bit more. A little bit down. Arg! So very close, but at least we'll get a we're guaranteed to get a lock picking level once it's open. Wrong way, Wayne. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Nope. A little bit more up. Up, maybe down. Oh, no, up, down. Arg! Why isn't there an auto lock in this in this one? There was in Oblivion. Oh, so close! I could cry. I could cry with tears of rage. Ah! Let's try again. Up. Not too much. Very close. Oh, son of a bitch! Let's try again. Oh, fuck off. This is doing my tits in already. Why is my lockpicking so low? I say as I level up. We have 20 lockpicks left. Well, I, I'm genuinely shit at lockpicks, folks. That's why I have a tendency to level up my lockpicking very quickly. Because I do use it a lot. Yes! Yes! Right, so we got a lockpicking increase to 21. Grelk Strongbox. Oh, 22. Three amethysts and 25 gold. Not a bad haul. Then we have another... St Ooh, Medici. Greetings, honoured friend. Could You're I not an honoured friend, and I'm going to mug you. 52%. I genuinely have no way to get this. This one's a novice door, so as long as he stops looking at me... Turn away, you lizard fuck. There we go. Oh, no, it's Medici again. Let's have a look at this one. I say it's a novice one, so it shouldn't be that much grief, and then I still struggle on it. There we go. Nice and easy for that one. 
Uh, what is he got in his box? He's still detecting me. Let's, there we go. So that's good. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. There we go. Now we can have a look. And it, this is a novice lock as well. So hopefully, it shouldn't be that difficult. A little bit up. There we go. Another nice and easy one. A garnet, 50 gold, and a copper and onyx circlet. Again, not a bad haul at all. I want these. Who are you? Oh, it's bring you off. That's who we need to talk Never to. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lad. Damn right, son. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. <laughs> hey, you know me well, sir. It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing, it's a dead giveaway. Indeed. Actually, no it's not, I'm, uh, no he's got a point. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Indeed. Maybe you'd like a taste. I would like to taste your wealth. Whip it out, and I'll I've give it a, a go. I've got an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. I've got some. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. I like coins, and I've got cat ears with hair on them. I'm destined to become a wealthy man. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from Strongbox. I've just mugged him already. This is perfect. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. That sounds wonderful, good sir. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. That's all I care about. As long as you, you pay me, me I'll get it done. And we'll get started. I'm ready, son. Good. A chance Wait arrangement has begun. Then show me what you're made of. I'm made of cat fur. Right, so we need to steal Medesi's ring from his satchel. Medesi's market key and a silver ring. No, nope, maybe it's from this one. Medesi's silver ring, and then we need to put it on Branche. Where is Branche? There he is, the bastard. Come on, Branche. We can Come do this, on, folks. We got this. this time. There we go. Pickpocket. 80% chance to steal. Where is that ring? There it is. There's the bastard. So, Medesi's silver ring. 83% chance to place. So, let's go ahead and give that to him. And that is done. Speak to Brynjolf now, and that is all done and Need dusted. Something? Now, Grauka, go fuck yourself. Actually... What a waste of hmm? time. I need training in light armor. Let's see how I'll much this is going to cost us. Effectively and keep you quick on your 200. I can't be asked to do that yet. Not until we're in the guild. So I've got to wait to get some money. Looks Hello, like bring I chose off. the right person for the job. Dude, they're still and right there. Going. Stop talking. Your payment, just as I promised. Although, you did pay me well. Here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What's been going on, bring off? My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. Indeed. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Bro, I can handle all of your thieving work. Like, so easily. As long as you got the coin to throw at my kitty mouth, I will eat all of your opponents. Alright then. Let's put that to the test. The group I Bitch, I shall be putting you to the, the test. Way beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Challenge accepted! I will meet you in the Ragged Flagon. Blagon Flagon. Bring, what have you got in your pockets, though? Gold? Actually, it's probably better I don't thieve from... Steal from the thieves when I'm trying to be a thief. What have you got? Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? I'm going to rob that. Just not yet. Who are you, Edda? That is going to be my cabbage. In fact, I'm going to make it my mission to end this episode by stealing this very cabbage that will accompany me on my quest. Although people are watching me, I need to be careful. The cabbage could have friends in high places. <laughs> Branche is getting arrested, and this old bastard is about to lick our kitty face. <gasps> Right, folks, in episode two, we are going to go ahead and join the Thieves Guild taking care of business. Locate Brynjolf at the Ragon Flag and Blag and Flag. And that is what we are going to do.
So this has been episode 1 of Skyrim. I hope you have enjoyed it. This is the adventures of Kitty Von Bastard. And he's going to indeed turn out to be a bastard. He's such a bastard that in episode 1 he's already on his way to joining the Thieves Guild. Oh hell yes. And that is when the fun truly begins. Because I like being a sneaky son of a bitch. I like being a thieving son of a bitch. And I like being an evil son of a bitch. So that is exactly what we're going to do my friends. I hope you've enjoyed episode 1. I shall see you in episode 2. Goodbye my friends.